Hello, I'd like to do a short review on two items that I recently purchased. Uh, first one is a Ketter work table and uh, the other one is a uh, is a rigid uh, portable job site wet tile saw. And uh, recently had to had to use these items uh, because I had a uh, overflow of my wash machine and caused about eleven thousand dollars damage to my hardwood floors and uh, duct work in my air conditioning and and uh, in the whole house in general. So anyway, I decided to go back in the bathroom. Uh, it used to have wood in it, and so I decided to go back with tile, and also decided to do the job myself. So uh, anyway, I want to want to go over some of the features of these two items, and uh, then give you a short demonstration on the tile saw, and then uh, take you into the bathroom, let you see the final results of what I did. So anyway, the uh, let's get with it. The, the work table is uh, made by Ketter. It uh, totally portable, folds up to about uh, 4 inches wide, about 34 inches, 30-34 inches wide, probably 20 inches uh, deep, and it has uh, two clamps on it that you can put on it as well, and uh, I'll show you how that works and we'll, uh, we'll put the tiles all together. All you have to do is just uh, grab these two pieces, grab it up like this, all right, and it unfolds like that. Then you take the uh, center support system and it makes it rigid. It holds up to a thousand pounds weight. Very, very nice table. It's a nice sturdy table. Good for any kind of uh, projects or anything. Uh, 30 inches high, which is perfect for uh, this table saw. And uh, anyway, the table saw is also portable. I'll show you that. Put the power cord together. And next, we'll put the uh, water in the tray here. Okay, we're good to go. I did quite a bit of research on these table saws, and uh, I didn't want to spend over $200 and still wanted a quality saw. And I uh, wanted something portable that didn't take, didn't take up a whole lot of room in my garage. And uh, so the, uh, the rigid one came uh, at the top of the list of uh, both quality and price. And uh, I'd like to go over a few of the features. Uh, first, it has an uh, aluminum tabletop, which is uh, very nice, rust, rust proof. And uh, the blade on it is also a, uh, one that they use on their higher end saws. And, uh, it's also very durable, had good results with it so far. And it has a, uh, a fence that's uh, very accurate on the fence. It also has your miter, 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 uh, your, uh, miter attachment to it. And it'll cut up to a, uh, it'll rip, a, 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 I believe it'll rip an 18 inch wide tile and it'll do diagonal for 12 inches. And the motor is uh, 6.5 amps. Uh, which is considerably higher than the the other cheaper uh, model table saws, which is usually three quarter horsepower, and this one's pushing about one point one one and one sixteenth horsepower. So it has lots of power on it. Uh, rust proof. It's portable, and so to me that was the obvious choice. Uh, anyway, I'd like to uh, give you a short demonstration on how I how I used to uh, use the saw to cut around my toilet. And uh, what I what I recommend doing, if you're doing going to do around the toilet, is to get your tiles and line them up where the corners are in the center of the uh, of the of the hole where your your pipe is, and um, then you then you uh, you cut around each corner of your tile to go around your flange, and you can do that with this table saw by uh, going. Uh, approaching it from both ends, you can usually get about halfway through and you can cut little sections of it at a time and they'll, they'll chip off. And if you don't, if they don't chip off, then you can just hit them with a little, uh, little uh, crimper and, then, and it'll, it'll chip along the line. So um, anyway, let me see what we can do with this. Uh, I don't have my crimper, so we'll, uh, we'll see, if it, uh, see if it works out without the crimper. Always use your safety uh, goggles on there as well. I'll position the I'll position the uh, camera so you can get a better shot of it.
Well, don't go to the other side. Okay, now that one wasn't perfect, but you get the idea of what we're doing here. And uh, anyway, once you do that, then you can just uh, you can just uh, glue it right down to your to your wonderboard uh, backing as well. So uh, pretty simple process, and cutting straight lines is essential with this table saw, and uh, had real good success with it. And I'd like to also now take you into the bathroom and let you see what see what the final results were. But anyway, here we go. Okay, as you can see, uh, this little bathroom, even though it's only 15 square feet, had a whole lot of things going on there that uh, challenged us all. And first being the uh, door jam, you had to go had to go around the door jam on both sides there, which uh, was a little bit of a challenge. And it also has a uh, has a has a floor vent for your air conditioning, and of course your toilet. And you can see where I had the uh, had that had the uh, uh, the tiles lined up right centered over the hole and um, overall the, the job took me about uh, a couple days you know for time it time it uh, had to dry and everything but uh, turned out pretty good I'm very satisfied with the with the saw and, uh, and the job as well and uh, anyway hope you enjoyed it bye bye